Hello friends, thanks for watching Jake Montanez Computing. In this video I'm going to show you why it's important to know what your computer is physically capable of supporting before you spend money on a new upgrade. Alright, so here I've got my uh, old Dell Insprung 3656, which I've used for several videos in the past. Uh, it's been kind of my scapegoat and my operating tool as well, because I don't actually have any additional computers that I can mess with. And I'm not going to disassemble my own computer on camera because uh, I'm recording my videos with my computer. So it makes it very difficult. So I'm going to open this guy up. You may or may not have seen it before. There we go. Put it on the screen. And it's really old. It's really tiny. It's completely out of date. And what you want to do is uh, upgrade it, right? Um, because of its age... That makes it really difficult to find current upgrades for it. I'm not going to actually upgrade this today because I don't have anything for it. But what we've got here is a very old video card. It's a NVIDIA 710. And I'm going to take this out and show you what this uh, looks like. He's a little, little dinky dude. Very tiny. Uh, it's good enough to support three different monitors. It's got HDMI, it's, sorry, HDMI, DVI, and VGA. And... Uh, you know, I can have three different monitors hooked up to this, and it'll support them, and I'll be able to do web browsing. And that's probably about it, because it can't really uh, do a lot of things. And if you look, I have one expansion slot for adding a video card if I want to. Um, bigger motherboards can have more than one of these slots to support more than one video card. Uh, Unless you're an extreme computer gamer, you don't really need more than one video card, and that's all I would ever really recommend. Uh, now, about five years ago, I ordered a 980 Ti uh, hybrid video card, which meant that it had liquid cooling capabilities attached to it. And this is what that thing looks like. It is a gigantic beast. The fan for this uh, video card completely dwarfs the, the CPU's video card, or sorry, the CPU's uh, fan. If you look at the size comparison, it's a little bit ridiculous, right? And then if you wanted to put these two video cards side by side, if you look at this side by side comparison, there is no comparison. This thing is a potato. It's not going to operate anything. Uh, is still a relatively uh, powerful card. I haven't really upgraded my video card much beyond this. It's a 1080. Uh, the current series is uh, a 3000 series, so anywhere between 3060 and uh, 3090s you can get uh, if you can find them online anywhere. Uh, this thing probably still works. It worked just fine when I took it out of the computer. I just wanted something uh, different in order for me to play around with uh, new video games. But if you take a look at this, this one has a bunch of different uh, extra video ports to it. It's got uh, HDMI, it's got DisplayPort, and I think these are also HDMI or DisplayPort. I just never pulled those plugs out. And it also supports DVI, which I used because I didn't have a uh, DisplayPort capable video or video monitor when I purchased this card itself. Now. If you're looking and going, how in the heck are you going to be able to fit this video card into this case? Uh, the answer is pretty simple. You are not. Um, for one, I've got this massive fan. And turning this case around, this is about the only space I have available to put a fan. And uh, it's not really designed for it. Uh, usually there are holes that would be attached. And even then... This fan is extremely huge and would not fit there. So that's strike one uh, against this video card being used as an upgrade for this uh, computer. Uh, strike two is the entire width of this video card. If I were to take this and just try to size fit this into the computer, with it wide open, you know, I can almost seat it into the motherboard, but not quite. And on top of that, if you're taking into account what's going on here, I would not really be able to shut my case because it is just too wide of a video card. 
So if you have a, an old pre-made or even a new pre-made uh, computer that has a very small case, something you need to take into account is the form factor size of your graphics card because it's just not physically going to fit inside this uh, little tiny case that I've got right here. Uh, another thing that's a strike against the computer case really uh, is the power supply and what it can support. This uh, power supply has one cable coming out of the back over here. It's kind of hard to see on this camera. All right, one power car, uh, cable coming out. And it's enough to support the motherboard uh, and the CPU. So there's a motherboard plug here and a CPU plug or a fan plug that goes up over there too. Uh, it's not very powerful. It is a, let me look at this guy real fast. It's a 180 watt power supply. I'm pretty sure if I were to look up the specs for this bigger graphics card, it requires far more than uh, 180 watts. Um, also, the bigger power supplies that are modular will have multiple power cables coming out of it. If you look right here, you can see I've got an 8-pin and a 6-pin power connection that I would need to be able to supply power to from the uh, power supply of the computer. I don't have either of those cables coming out of it. Uh, I would have to upgrade my uh, uh, power supply in order to support something like this. So if you are in the process of looking up upgrades for your uh, PC and you're trying to replace some sort of potato like this graphics card, uh, and you don't exactly know what the, the inside of your computer looks like, but you're going to be going into the inside of your computer to do an upgrade, uh, I would recommend just shutting your computer down, opening it up, and seeing what you have available. Do you have additional power cables coming out of your power supply? And if you look at wherever it says on the uh, sticker what the power supply is, this is 180. You're not going to be able to see that on my camera, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but it's a 180 watt power supply. You need to find something. Uh, Easily, I would say 650 would probably be the minimum if you're trying to upgrade your graphics card to something like this or bigger. Uh, I think the one in my PC that I use currently is a 1050 watt uh, power supply, which is way more than anything I will ever need uh, to support what I'm doing. And it has the additional plugs that I need to power my graphics card. The majority of the most powerful graphics cards that are out there are going to have a requirement for additional power being supplied directly to the card itself uh, to also power the fan. Uh, the next thing you want to be sure of is for one, if you've got an additional fan or a fan heatsink combination like this happens to be, uh, that you have somewhere inside of your case to mount it. Like I said, there's really only this spot here. And if you wanted to get super, super technical and flip this around, uh, there is a, another case fan right here that would also allow it to exhaust heat from the system. This computer is not going to support this fan. This guy is way larger than the tiny little fan that my case has. So in every situation here, even though the video card I have is a technical upgrade in every sense of the word, uh, I would not be able to use it to upgrade this computer to save my life without upgrading pretty much everything else. I'd have to replace the case. I would have to replace the power supply that's inside of the case. Uh, some cases will come with a power supply, so you might be able to check into that. Um, but I would usually pick out a case that... Uh, can support whatever power supply I want to put into it. Uh, the motherboard may not be able to fit your graphics card, so make sure there's room on that. Um, another thing that I noticed is that this power cable right here, were I to put that other graphics card in there and were it to fit, uh, it would be blocking this power cable and I wouldn't be able to plug that in. So that's another strike against my video card. So even though you have something that will improve the performance of your computer considerably, it's not always going to be an upgrade for you. So take that into account, and that is uh, what it looks like when you have a new component relative to the 
computer that you're putting in that is not going to actually upgrade your computer. All right, so I hope that taking a look inside of my old Dell Inspiron 3656 and seeing what even just an upgrade of a, a 980 Ti can look like when going into the computer kind of uh, gives you an idea of why you should look inside of your computer and know what it's physically capable of supporting uh, will help you when buying a new upgrade so that you don't buy something that would inadvertently not work and make you waste both your time and your money trying to get something that uh, you're just going to have to return to the store or return uh, through the mail to whatever company you bought it from so that you can have a component that will fit inside of your computer and work and upgrade the computer as much as you hope that it would. If this has been uh, of use to you, I would appreciate it if you'd uh, click like on this video and subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so that you can be informed whenever I create a new video for you. If you have any questions or comments or would like to know more about upgrading your computer, uh, please leave a comment down below and give me your thoughts. I appreciate you watching and have a nice day.